Hi everyone, it's Hillary and welcome back to the Creative Faith YouTube channel. Today I have another freebie to share with you guys, which is always really exciting. <laughs> and so I'm excited to show you um, how I've used it so far. And then I'm going to do a process video with you guys using my prayer journal. So first I'm going to walk through the printable. So my friend Minerva, she is from and lives in the Dominican Republic. She reached out to me about creating, doing this collaboration as a freebie for you all and she is the most amazing artist I know. She is incredibly talented and so she came to me with the theme of peace which was really appropriate because I have been just feeling so much anxiety right now um, and so I thought what a perfect theme for us to focus on. So I um, back in the beginning of 2019 started having panic attacks and feeling just this intense anxiety I was having trouble sleeping and just felt like my heart was racing so much it was just gonna burst out of my chest and um, that kind of has gone away and then lately it's come back and just dealing with a lot of stress um, with various things in my life and so having this theme this focus of peace and casting our cares on the lord was just really perfect and so minerva created this artwork and so the key, we have two key verses i also wanted to show you how i am storing the printable right now um, we had a little craft day at my mom's house, and this is an old hanky from my grandma or my great-grandma, and we turned it into an envelope, and so I just thought that was kind of a fun, I thought you guys would appreciate and think it was neat to see this, and I love how the colors and the little dainty flowers coordinate and match the printable. So this is where I'm holding it, and I just think it looks really pretty, and it's a great way to keep the printable together. Um, oftentimes I'll use a, uh, like a, I'm trying to look around and see if I have one on my desk. But normally I use like a page protector and a binder to hold my printables um, or a pouch or something. But for now I am using this and just kind of tucking it into my Bible or my prayer journal. So I made it in English and in Spanish. And so our two key verses are 1 Peter 1, 5 and then Matthew 6, 26. So I guess I should have done this beforehand, but let me kind of organize the, the little elements for you all. Let me know in the comments, what do you guys think of this fun little old hanky um, envelope? I am curious to know your thoughts about it. Do you guys think it's as cute as I think it is? <laughs> So, just trying to kind of organize it by. So, I made it in English and in Spanish, and then I've printed it out on sticker paper and on normal paper. Um, so, there we go. So, Minerva made these images and she made them to go along with the verses. And so the verse in Matthew 6 talks about the birds of the air and how God provides for them and also talks about the wildflowers later on also in that section of scripture and how God, you know, clothes them and makes them beautiful. And so how much more will he do that for us? And so I love her bird image and the flowers. And then for 1 Peter 5, 7, um, we're thinking about just how like calming it is to sit with a cup of tea 
and just pause and pray and hand our worries and cares back to the Lord and focusing on his word, centering and focusing ourselves, repeating his word when anxiety comes. And so that was kind of the thought behind her images. And then I hand lettered the two Bible verses. I um, used a different brush in Procreate, which is the app I use to draw my images. And so let me know in the comments below if you like this kind of different handwriting style of mine. And then I did God Cares for You as well. And then I made two little um, verse cards to go along with it. And so those are what they look like. So I added her little images and my hand lettering. And so that's the printable. So I will link in the comment or in the description box below where you guys can pick this up for free on my blog. And Minerva and I actually have two additional printables that we've done together that are freebies on my blog. And so the first one we did is called Fall in Love with God's Word, all about the power of reading the Bible. And then the next one we did was called Learning and Growing. And it was kind of um, our response to racism and really just um, loving one another, loving our neighbor, and encouraging one another to continue learning and growing in this time. And so I will link both of those freebies in the description box below too if you want to check those out. And I was going to show you guys, I did get a chance already to play with it in my journaling Bible. And so this is 1 Peter 5. And I used these Fiber, Faber Castell watercolor markers um, for the background, and that's what I'm going to use in my prayer journal too. And so I had the elements printed on clear sticker paper, and so I used the little washi strip and the tea bag and the teacup and the chair as well as two of the verses and so I totally love how that turned out so I was really pleased with that and just spending time creating and pausing and praying with the Lord about handing my anxiety back to him so today I'm going to be using this is my creative faith prayer journal I do have some of these in my Etsy shop which I will link in the description box below or you guys can pick them up on Amazon and I'll link them on Amazon as well and I have been just having a great time creating in here. There are 40 different prayer prompts that are in this prayer journal. And so it's a really awesome place to pray and create and cry out to the Lord. And so today I'm going to work, if I could find it, on the page about peace and use this new freebie in here. So definitely pick up one of these prayer journals if you haven't already. It is a great um, tool to help you in your faith and in your prayer life. And I do have a whole prayer journaling series here on YouTube that I'll link in the description box below too if you guys want more information about why you should prayer journal and how to get started. So I am going to put you guys on fast forward now and jump in and create a page about praying for peace when I am anxious. And I also just wanted to mention, if you guys love the freebies that are available on my blog, please consider supporting my Etsy shop. Um, it is awesome to be able to provide you guys with freebies, but it really helps me when you also support Creative Faith financially through purchasing some printables. And so if you can, definitely think about purchasing, picking something up in my Etsy shop. Um, one thing that I will link in the description box that would go along perfectly with what we're doing today is my printable prayer phrases and so that is the perfect addition to go with this prayer journal and this time of praying for God's peace when we are anxious so let's jump in and get started 
So to get started today, I am going to add some clips to the top and bottom of my prayer journal to help hold it open when I am creating. And then I just slip a little piece of junk paper in between as I am working on the background of my page. I'm going to be using these new Faber-Castell watercolor markers. And so I am putting them onto a acrylic an acrylic stamp block, spraying it with water and smooshing it down on the page. The lady at the craft store where I got these showed me how to use them on watercolor paper and you can like put the marker down and then use a brush and spread it around. It doesn't work as well. I tried it on a different journal page but that's okay. <laughs> um, you can see I'm also using these markers as ink on my stamp. And so that was another really neat way to play around with these markers in a new way. So always fun to try out different stamping and markers and paint techniques and whatnot. So um, I don't know if you can pick them up on Amazon or not, but if so, I'll see if I can find these Faber-Castell watercolor markers and link them down below. So I am using the tea kettle as kind of the main focus of my page. And then you'll see off to the left, I have this old sweet and sassy stamp set called Fill Me Up. I do believe it is still available in their shop online and so i will link it in the description box below it's one of my favorite sweet and sassy stamps i love the image of the cups and the mugs and the tea and so i first pulled this one that says fill my cup and just thinking about having jesus fill our cups with his amazing peace so you'll see i use that marker again as my ink and it turned out really beautiful and then I had this idea too, to use the steam from the top of the cup of the mug and put it coming out of the tea kettle, which I just think is such a cool idea. You could even perform stamp surgery if you wanted to and cut the steam off of the bottom of the mug. Uh, but I just only used the marker. Using that marker made it really easy to ink up only the steam. And so now we have this steam coming out of the tea kettle, which I am just totally obsessed with how it turned out. Next, I am cutting up the little strip with my hand lettering that says God takes care of you. I did print the elements that I'm using here on clear sticker paper. I always have my favorite clear sticker paper linked in the description box below so you guys can pick it up on Amazon. And so now I am trying to figure out what else to do. I wanted to add that verse but um, I didn't have it printed on clear sticker paper anymore. So I paused <laughs> from filming and printed off this sheet on vellum. So vellum is another really great place to print. Um, it is kind of this cool frosted look where you can see through to the backside. And so kind of a neat and different medium to print on and use in your journaling. I'm especially excited to use the verse card that I printed on vellum, but today I am printing and cutting out the 1 Peter 5, 7 verse and just using a glue stick to adhere it down to the page. I also forgot to mention that I do have a blog post with links to all of my favorite sweet and sassy stamps. And I will link that blog post in the description box below too. So you guys can check out all of my favorites from that stamp company. So I just love using their stamps and this set called Fill Me Up is especially perfect and appropriate for this prayer journaling page for God's peace. I added this little tab punch that matches the kind of minty greeny bluey of the kit and then now I am writing out a prayer asking uh, for our prince of peace to fill me with his peace when my anxiety rises and there are I know so many more people besides just me uh, struggling especially during this time right now in our world and so um, let me just lift up a prayer for you right now if you are struggling with 
with anxiety. Heavenly Father, Prince of Peace, God Almighty, Lord of Lords, King of Kings, come down and fill my friends watching this video with your peace today, Lord. I pray that as we are in the midst of a really crazy season in our world, that you would help us, Lord, to pause and sit with you and that you, God, would fill our cups with your amazing peace, God. And we ask this in your Son, Jesus' name. Amen. Just know that I um, I will be continuing to pray for you guys as well. Um, and I pray that this printable helps you to leave your anxiety and stress at the foot of the cross. So thank you guys for watching this video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss out on any creative faith videos. Give this video a big thumbs up. Be sure to download this printable and tag me Nerva and I on Instagram and social media. If you guys share it, we love to see how you guys use these freebies and I will see you in the next video. Bye.